Hey guys, welcome back. Um, long time no see. Um, I'm sitting at my computer actually reading some of the comments that I got on the last video that I posted. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Not a quick, I mean like I guess it's kind of an update, but I also wanted to touch on questions that I didn't necessarily make clear in the last video. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I have alopecia areata and I was diagnosed January 6th. So it's been about two weeks since I got my treatment, um, hopeful treatment. Um, and I wanted to touch on some things that were, I don't want you guys to be worried about me. So I felt the need to touch on a few things that I saw in the comment section. I just feel like I need to talk about this because one, I got so overwhelmed at the love and feedback and comments and I hate that other people are going through this, but I also too find comfort in knowing that I'm not alone. So this week when I washed my hair, um, Vicky and I discovered new patches and I'll insert two of the pictures here. Discovered some new patches and I know that they are newer patches because those areas were literally, it's almost like a burning sensation you get and it itches so bad. Yeah, I have not put any heat on my hair. I've really not done anything to my hair. I wash it and I braid it back in two braids. The braids are not tight. As you all know, I don't even know how to braid. I just learned during quarantine. So that's the only reason that I know how to like put my hair back in a style where it's not being touched. Um, and before that, I was always blow drying my hair after I washed it. So I'm not even blow drying it right now. But I do want to answer a few of the questions that I felt like I left out and left like just not in the video. So one thing, a lot of people mentioned checking my thyroids. So before I was recommended to this dermatologist, I went to my primary care doctor, which is what I'm recommending for you all. If you are suffering with this, not suffering, but struggling with this too, and you want to come up with a solution, a possible solution, go to your primary first just to see, get some blood work done. And that's what I did. So my thyroids has already been ruled out. Lupus has already been ruled out. What else? That was already ruled out. What they did discover is that my hemoglobin levels were extremely low. Um, my number was like a 9.1. So since I've been taking iron pills twice a day, I'm now at a 10.2. I've been on iron pills for at least a full month. So these are things that I already knew, that my iron was low. I knew that my vitamin D levels were also low. So I'm am, I am also taking prescribed vitamin D. Um, so that's what I would recommend, to have them check your iron, your vitamin D. So yeah, I just want to tell you that, yes, my iron was low, so I had an iron deficiency and also vitamin D levels. So I am currently taking iron pills twice a day, vitamin D, vitamin B, and then I take a women's multivitamin. And I've been on that for over a month now doing that. I, as of now, even with discovering the newer patches, I honestly don't feel like the injection is working. It's supposed to be, the injection that I got was supposed to be an anti-inflammatory. So basically something in my body is going off, triggering something that's telling it to fight off my hair. That's what's happening. I don't know what other way to explain it. It's nothing that I'm putting on my hair. There was a comment that said um, relaxers. I have not relaxed my hair in over seven years. So I, I'm all natural. I've gotten my hair completely cut off. Um, not completely, but cut really short. I have no relaxers. So it's no relaxers. It's no dyes or anything. My hair has never been dyed. Someone commented that, what if it's the oil that I recommended to you guys? Now the oil that I recommended, the Hydro Hair Care Oil, I know that it's not that oil because I have been using that oil for over a year now. And it's nothing that you can physically put on your hair that can cause you to have alopecia areata. If that was the case, I would have hair loss everywhere and not just in certain places. Does that make sense? So if you are reacting to something that I recommended, I mean like there could possibly be an ingredient in that oil that you may be reacting to, but for me, that was not the case. 
Um, so yeah, I will never recommend anything to you guys that I know that I can't stand by a hundred and thousand percent that I have used on myself and spent my own coin on. That hair oil was the truth, okay? But when I saw that my hair had been falling out, and again, I noticed these patches in November, I had been using that hair oil all over the summer, everything. It would have been happening, you know what I mean? So it's not the hair oil. Um, no products that I use. Um, and someone also mentioned braids, wigs, and tension. Though tension and braids can allow your hair to fall out, that was not necessarily my case. I have not been able to really go get my hair done. And when I did go get my hair done over the summer, when I got my faux locks, my faux locks, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's not a style. I'm very, very tender headed. So it's not a style that puts tension on my head. Literally the day that it's installed, I can pull it up without getting any tight bumps or any, any pain. I'm extremely, extremely tender headed with extremely, thick hair. So that's why I go to a certain lock specialist that knows how to install them and they not be heavy or tensions or anything like that. For my wigs, I don't know how to braise. I, I've made that clear, I feel like. Um, so all my wigs, when I'm wearing a wig, I just pull it straight. My hair is usually back in a ponytail. It's not tight. It's, that just is what it is. Um, and then when I wear my U parts, I would usually braid my hair down. Again, my braids are never tight. And I just straighten the hair that's left out. So yeah, even with you parts, the wherever the combs are laying, I would have hair loss. And that has not been the case. Wherever my wigs lay, there's no hair loss. So again, I got diagnosed first by my doctor, my primary care doctor, who then recommended me to the dermatologist who then confirmed the diagnosis for my primary in the shot. So again, I was it was a lot going on. I was not able to get the name of the injection that I got, but again, I got the injection in my life, in my left, in my life, in my left butt cheek. And it was just really sore, like you've been punched. You guys have ever gotten a flu shot? It feels like the flu shot, like the tenderness of a flu shot almost. So yeah, I had that for about two days. And yeah, I'm still getting very itchy scalp. I'm still no discovering newer patches two weeks later. And that's about it. My hair is still shedding. And yeah, so this is the last time you'll pretty much hear me talk about this until I can pull you up for my next appointment, which will be February 16th. So after that, hopefully I could have more answers for you. Case and just clearing up a few of the questions that I had. Um, other than that, I think that was about it, but I do want to say thank you guys so much for the encouraging words, the prayers. It meant so much to me. You would not believe, I have not been active on social media. I keep hearing stuff. You wouldn't believe the number of women that reached out and said that they were going through the exact same thing and afraid and embarrassed to talk about it. So my advice to those is find someone who you're comfortable with that you can talk to and get help. It's it's It feels so much better releasing it and not handling it all by myself, you know? Um, so yeah, that's about it. Oh, do you guys wanna see my hair right now? It's just like in some braids or whatever. So this is my hair now. You are about to see a spot, do not get alarmed. So that's just leave-in conditioner, okay? That's all it is. It's leave-in conditioner that I just put my hair into two loose braids. And can y'all see? And I have some leave-in conditioner because I just co-washed it. And yeah, that's this it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I just wanted to um, clear up those questions and again please don't worry about me I know that I will be okay as I said in the last video I know that this is just all a part of my testimony that's all I just wanted to give you guys a quick two-week update and let you know girls still got patches edges and patches conditioner she real nice and conditioned she ain't dry but that's all. I'll see you guys.
in the next vlog. I have a homeschool vlog coming up. Okay.